hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world uh, sorry third person tutorial series so in this episode i'm going to show you how to change the reticle dynamically so when i shoot this uh, reticle will be changed like this so this is to represent the recoil effect because of the recoil effect the accuracy of the gun will be reduced when I shoot so to represent that I am going to uh, uh, contract this uh, white lines like this And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. So at the moment this is what we have. We have this reticle image in the middle and when I shoot nothing changes. It starts static. That's because first let me open my vertical uh, UI widget. So this is the vertical image. This is just a static image that I have used here. So now what I want to do is when I shoot, I need to make this vertical a little bigger so that uh, it represents that when I keep shooting the guns because of the gun's recoil the accuracy is decreased so that's what I'm trying to uh, depict here but with a static image we can't do that so uh, let's create a UI material and replace that static image so that we can have some dynamics I'll call this M UI because this is a UI material now first I need to change the material domain to user interface and I'll use the blend mode masked and drag and drop this reticle image here for the base color I'll connect RGB and for the opacity mask I'll connect alpha channel now you will have this material like this now I'll replace in this image with the material here in the reticle widget WDG reticle and compile now it will stay same let's see right we still have the reticle in the middle of the screen without any issue okay so now what I need to do is I need a way to make this uh, lines smaller that means uh, it should be something like when I start shooting this line should be smaller so yeah let me open Photoshop and show you what I am intend to do right, so this is what I need to do when I am not shooting when I am standing still the reticle should be like this and when I start shooting it should be like this so yeah okay so what can I do to increase this blank area in the middle of this material right so we can do something like this let's use a if node here and here for the B I'll promote this to a parameter let's call it um, 
accuracy is it a good word yeah let's call it accuracy and I'll set the value to point one and if a is larger than B I'll add a constant here the output should be zero otherwise output should be whatever the value we get from here so now mm, all right right now for the all right so for this one i should get the texture coordinate and here i yeah first let's consider only the horizontal value like this yeah if it is and let's set the accuracy to one yeah so if the accuracy is larger than one we will get something like this so what about the other side right so now this is only for the R that means horizontal side but that's not enough we need it for the vertical side as well so there are four I'll get another component mask and this time I'll mask G and from this two I'll get the minimum one and connect here now as you can see this uh, the left side and the top side I can reveal it using this uh, accuracy parameter like this so if I make it larger than 0.5 it will reveal all if I make it larger than if I make the accuracy is 0.3 like this 0.2 like this 0.1 like this so if I make it 0 it will hide all so now for the top left side it is okay so now about the other two parts so yeah for that I'll get another if condition and here this time I'll get the maximum of this two and from this one I'll get the one minus value that means the this value subtracted from one and I'll use it as the B input here and for A I'll use this one and same as before if A is larger than B sorry a is yeah larger than b it should be the same alpha otherwise it should be zero now if i am correct i should get the yeah other side and as i increase the accuracy it would start to reveal the reticle so right i'll leave it at point one now to combine this I'll add this one with the result of this one and combine here now we get the full uh, reticle reveal mechanics so if I make it like 0.2 it will be like this 0.3 it will be like this 0.5 it will be like this so if I make it 0 reticle will be gone 0.1 reticle is like this right now using this accuracy parameter I can reveal or hide 
this radical so by default I'll leave it at 0.5 okay now we can manipulate this parameter inside the reticle widget so to do that let me yeah first I need a reference to this material right so let's create on initialized event and here get material get dynamic material and I'll promote this one to a variable let's call it critical mat okay now now I need a custom event set accuracy and I need an input here so here what I'm doing is I'm going to get a reference to this reticle material and set scalar parameter value and the parameter value name is accuracy and the value is whatever the value I get from here okay so right now I need to access this through some interface event in the shooter HUD so yeah let's open BPI UI interface here I am using interface for the blueprint interface not the actual UI interface user interface right so here I'll define a new function let's call it set reticle accuracy And with the float input accuracy right now in the shooter hard blueprint I'll implement that event set reticle accuracy and here I have this vertical widget I'll get a reference and set accuracy I can call that function I just created inside the reticle widget like this okay now let's go to our gun blueprint So when we start firing, I can get hard. No, get a player controller, and using that, I can ask access hard like this. Get hard and let me get some space here right so at this point I can call set reticle accuracy 
if I am shooting it should be let's set it to 0.1 otherwise if I am setting the fire into false I'll make it back to 0.5 like this maybe point 0.1 is too much let's see point 0.2 okay and let's see what happens here okay now the reticle is normal now when I shoot you can see the reticle change right like that okay so yeah I'll stop at this point for this episode and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and uh, I'll release a source code update soon and thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.